Hey guys, what's up? Shannon here. In support of National Infertility Awareness Week, I will be hosting a giveaway week for anyone who's willing to share a part of your story on one of my posts or share a post with someone who you think needs it or share it to your page just to show support in getting the message of infertility awareness out there. And with me today, I am super, super excited to introduce to you, if you do not know her already, the lovely, the brilliant, the hair so fabulous, Elizabeth. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Look at her hair. It's so fabulous. Oh, it's driving me nuts, but yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, absolutely. She is one of my most favorite people, and I am super honored and humbled and excited to include her in part of the Infertility Awareness Week giveaway. As you know, or if you don't know and you're new to my page, I too share in the struggle of infertility. So it's important for me to put the message out there and Hope that you can feel ratified and empowered to do it too. So Olivia has agreed to offer her services in giving away a free one hour coaching session to you, to those of you who are willing to show support in support of infertility awareness. So mm -hmm. as I said, I have with me the fabulous hair so wonderful, Olivia Celine from Soul in the Raw and Olivia Crystal Coaching. She is a life coach. She is a podcaster. She is power, she is light. She is fun, genuine, easy, has great hair, and she is grace, people. Grace. Yes, I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Ah. thank you. Thank you for having me. What an honor it is to be here. And when you reached out and you're like, hey, guys, like I'm doing this giveaway, and I would love for you to be a part of it, I was like, sign me up because anything, Shannon, I'm all about. I'm always in with everything that you are doing. And I think that the message that you share, obviously I've told you this before, is so powerful and so important. It needs to be heard. And although I don't struggle with infertility myself, I know so many people in just like my bubble that do, and it breaks my heart for them. And so to be able to do something as little, um, it's so little of a thing to give away, but here's one hour of my time. If I can serve you in any way that I can, if, if you win this giveaway and this is a good fit for you. And maybe you have no idea what life coaching is and it scares the shit out of you. And you're like, Oh my gosh, what do I even do? What do I even talk about? But giving you that hour of here's a selfish, you know, time for you to be you and to choose you and to set everything else aside and to come undone and come unraveled a little bit in a safe space that is non-judgmental. You'll be met with love and anything you feel is completely valid. Let me give that hour away. I would be honored to do that. So thanks for having me. Woo! Guys, if you didn't get the amazingness that just came out of her from that, I know she said it's a small thing, but there is so much love and light inside mm -hmm. of Olivia. So for those of you to kind of echo her sentiments that are feeling a little bit hesitant or unsure about speaking out about it, sharing out about it, or even just having a coaching session that you never mm -hmm. thought about before, this is an opportunity for us to do a little Q&A for you to see not only if coaching might be something you're willing to take on, or if you just want to get a little bit of Olivia and that beautiful mane in your oh life. Gosh, so we're going to do a quick Q&A. Okay. I'm First. nervous, but bring it on. Let's do it. Air the pit. Yes. I know. First <laughs> but first things first. God, I know everybody's like, I love her already. First things first. <laughs> who is Olivia? <gasps> what a like simple yet profound yet holy shit. What the F do I say question? Um, <laughs> Who is Olivia? I, the super generic answer, I guess. Um, I'm love. I am fun. I am crazy, fiery, sassy. Um, you know, you call me magical, which always makes me feel so good and high vibe. I am human first before I'm a coach, right? I am someone who believes very much so in feeling feelings fully. There's no bad or good emotions. There's no right or wrong. There simply is. And I am someone who is going to hold that space for you to feel fully and allow things to work through you instead of resisting the feelings that we're not wanting to feel. Um, and in all of that, just always, 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 I hope to exude love in everything that I do and just make you feel like you have somewhere to belong. Maybe if you don't feel like you do, um, that is who I strive to be. Nice. Beautiful. That's, that was hard. That uh, just like word vomit. Like what's coming to me? Bring it on. The magical vibe coming are. through me. Yes. <laughs> so just as you said, you know, you allow people to have the space to be who they are. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that you are willing and beautifully offering to people is that, that area to take mm -hmm. up. So I'm just curious, why is it important for you to donate that space to people in national infertility awareness week? 
Mm, um, well, in all honesty, I think that anyone watching this, whether you struggle with infertility or not, everyone could benefit from a life coach. Like, I think a lot of times we think that um, everything has to be falling apart or like it has to be in a season where I'm drowning and, you know, oh, things are good right now. Like, I'm okay. So I don't need coaching. Um, but I will never not have a life coach ever since I became one myself and experienced it for myself. Um, I love coaching. And so, giving this, you know, then this infertility awareness week and, and it being this massive movement that you've created and that you've been a part of and that you're speaking out about, it's, I want to donate that hour to those people specifically in this week and say like, you know, again, like whoever decides to take this next step and is like, okay, this is super scary for me, but I want to do it again. I just feel like it's that safe space. Like you, you are allowed to be human and I want you to feel seen and heard and supported and validated and in a non-judgmental space. Cause there's so much information out there with infertility. And I know we've talked about this before and there's all these shoulds and this is how you should feel. And this is what you're supposed to do. And here's the right thing to do, but like strip all that bullshit away and just like, who are you at your core and what do you want? And how do we help you? Oh, I have chills. How do we help you choose you? And if that can help someone in that one hour, it's such a short amount of time, but if it can allow you to feel a little bit more empowered in who you are, like let's freaking do it and make it happen even when it's scary. Cause it's going to be scary. I, I still get nervous sometimes going on certain calls if I'm in a certain season in life, but the way you show up to that, you commit to it, you open yourself to be willing to receive whatever comes up for you in that moment. And in that hour, you leave a different person and just you know, a, I don't want to say a higher version of yourself, but even just like a little bit lighter. If it's even just an hour where you just cry and vent and, you know, be sad, maybe that's it. And then you leave feeling a little bit lighter, whatever it is for you. I want to give you that safe space. So that is why it's important to me to do this. Woo! Gosh, just feel like praying. <laughs> that was so amazing. Um, the vibrational energy of Olivia is so big, mm -hmm. right? And it's in our message is so aligned on that. Like, I want people to show up, realize infertility sucks. They don't. At the core of them is still who they are. It's mm -hmm. not the disease. And I love that you're just portraying out there that you can be whoever you need to be in that mm -hmm. moment. Be selfish with it. Take up that space. Which leads me into my next question. Because mm -hmm. all the vibes are just so high right now. It's amazing. I know. Um, when it comes to coaching, what's your purpose? What is my purpose as a coach? Yeah. Whew. My purpose as a coach is to be that safe space, that clear channel for, again, whatever to come up to come up in that time. I don't tell you how to feel. I don't fix things. I don't think you're broken. I don't think there's anything wrong with you. Um, you know, like you said, infertility sucks. You don't. I love the message behind it and the fact that you are not defined by what you are struggled with. There is a you underneath this weight that you are carrying from this situation and again feel it fully like I am not saying you have to like snap out of it and be like you be positive be more positive be a positive person like no sometimes you need to sit with your feelings and be like this freaking sucks and I hate it and I'm pissed off about it and it's just not fair and why is this happening to me and you're allowed to feel those things but I feel like my job as a coach is to give you that space to do that in a place where I'm not just gonna like spit advice at you because I have no idea I can't tell you what the next best step is for you. I can't tell you what the right thing to do is as a life coach. I simply show up completely devoted to you in that one hour of time or whenever we're speaking, if it's in text or email or whatever it might be in between sessions. And I'm just there to be there for you and to be that person that isn't a part of your life. I'm not your mom or your best friend who has that kind of, you know, their certain opinions or they know you really well. I'm a third party source. I just come in and I get to say, how do you feel? What do you want? And then I get to support you in that. So um, I think the way that I show up in my purpose as a coach too is just that energy that I bring to the conversation. Um, and it's just that time for you. And then I just get to be completely focused on what you're going through in that hour. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I love that so much. And I mean, Olivia is my friend. If you can't tell. Um. <laughs> I'm pretty much obsessed with you. It's cool. And the obsession is real um, for her. <laughs> But uh, one of the things that I always say is like, what is the charm of you? I always try and pull the charm mm -hmm. of somebody out of them and be like, hey, what's that thing that like, some people might not like this, but that's the charm of me. So, or some people might love it and they might really gravitate towards that, but that's mm -hmm. still authentic 
it's just natural. It's just organic charm of me. So for people that are watching this, what's the charm of you? That is a good question. Um, it's so interesting because I do a lot of like business coaching as well. Um, even more so than life coaching sometimes these days. I mean, it's always what's underneath the surface. It's not just like business, business, business. It always comes back to life. So I know a lot of like my strong point of views when it comes to like business or spirituality or things of that nature, but I've never thought about like just me in general. Um, I guess I have like a, a thing about me, I guess you could say, which I feel like you'll agree with, I hope, but I think you will. I think you've told me this before, but I am like super fiery. I'm super sassy. I'm tell it how it is, like bring it on. Like I can be very direct in a very loving way. Like I have like a, like in your face, like, yes, yes, yes. Like passion, fire, sass. Yes. This is so good. And then I also have this like warm ability to just like be with you. And it's, I have, that's the charm about me of you might like that. You might hate it. I might be too aggressive for some people. I might be too like, ah, and some people hate that. Totally cool. I'm not everyone's cup of whiskey. Maybe you're a vodka girl and that's <laughs> I'm probably not for you. I'm just going to say, no, just kidding. But you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yes. I love it. Oh my gosh. So now that everybody is like, yes, put me in Olivia's direct presence and let me decide if I am her cup of whiskey. Love it. Where can people come to know more about you, what you do? Just get the low down dirty on Olivia. Yes, you can go to oliviaceline.com, um, so my name, .com, and nothing fancy, and you can find more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching there. I have um, a group coaching program. I also co-host a podcast, like Shannon said, Soul in the Raw, with my um, business partner, Crystal, so a few different ways, but oliviaceline.com kind of houses everything. It has my different social media channels, and I would just love to connect with you and even just be able to cheer you on for sharing your story, because I know it's scary. I know entering into these giveaways is terrifying and it's almost like you're taking this like filter off and you're being seen and that can be really freaking scary and I just want to commend everyone that's here watching this that's like you know what this scares you know and, and making that hairy ball decision hairy balls decision like Shannon always says it scares the shit out of me but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's important and I matter and I need my voice and my situation specifically to be heard and I'm just excited for this so thanks for having me Yes. So much. Yes. Everything you say in my mind, I'm like, yes. Yes. All the praise hand emojis. Yes, exactly. So thank you so much for hopping on to chat for a few minutes of your beautiful, wonderful day and your willingness to donate your beautiful gift, allowing people to take up space and create the, you know, revolving doorway for them mm -hmm. to step out and take up the space that they need in life and yeah. really calling you know, truthfully attention to the fact that this is a scary thing to out yourself on, but there's liberation, there's freedom, there's enlightenment in doing so. Mm -hmm. So thank you. I love you to the moon. I couldn't love you more if I even tried. Mm -hmm. I love For you everybody too. watching, my heart is always with you. I know Olivia agrees that her heart is with you. We support you, we lift you up, and we give you space to be this powerful person that you are mm -hmm. that puts infertility as a part of your life, but is not all of your life. Absolutely. So don't forget to win this amazing freebie and to be coached by this beautiful, wonderful being, Olivia. Watch this week's post for the daily giveaway. And mm. to win, share a part of your story on one of my posts. Share a post with somebody you think may need it or share it to your page just to show overall support for in infertility awareness and get the message out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Olivia, for being with us. Any parting words? I just have chills. I'm ready for this. I cannot wait to read your guys' stories. And yeah, I'm holding space for you guys to do this really scary thing, but to feel so free on the other side. So thanks for having me. Beautiful. Thank you guys. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye guys.